Oh, so what's up? Hey, so I want to uh, do a back testing real quick on this week. This week definitely uh, felt like it was a trap week. And I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of the calls that I made um, didn't pan out as much as I would like. So let's start off with GU. Obviously, took this trade. And though this one actually did play out. But the issue was is I didn't trust until the trading strategy. Okay. So one thing to keep in mind, y'all, whenever y'all are trading, if it goes against the way you trade, don't trade. So when I say that, everybody kind of knows if you've been watching my videos or know me personally that I use the EMAs, right? And I use them pretty tough. So as you can tell on GU right now, the EMA crossed down on that 50 and the luck is headed down to that 200. Nine times out of 10 when that happens, okay, this candlestick could push up and touch these moving averages and then shoot back down. Now, RSI is at 24, so this is definitely going to push up, y'all. But I can almost guarantee you, okay, that these moving averages are going to cross and this is going to shoot down. And I honestly think, let's see a zone right quick. I honestly think it's headed down to either right here or right here at this support, okay? So you got two zones to break, but I, I, I best believe, you best believe that it's going to break this right here because these moving average moving averages are going to cross okay these are going to cross the 50 and nine times out of ten is going to cross the 200 and then i can see it coming all the way down here so let me zoom out right quick on this so yeah this is definitely looking like it's headed down to this zone right here before it decides to shoot up okay now looking at the rsi on the left okay the last time it shot up that high like that rsi touched Right around, hold on. Let me see. Right around 32. So it's at 38 right now, and this RSI is gonna play around a little bit. But I'm I'm almost certain that this is going to come down to this support zone here, and then decide to go back up because these moving averages are looking like they're about to cross. And also, RSI hit a high this week. It was at about 77, 78. Now, to go back to what I was saying about I didn't trust until my trade, okay? So, Jeremy teaches, or my mentor teaches about the RSI levels, okay? If you look at the RSI levels, they really are highly respected, okay? So, GU was up here, right? It was way out of the level. But that's still uh, a good enough confirmation to where you know this is coming down. And this is on a higher time frame. Okay, so obviously the market makers continued to push GU up. And it finally hit a high. Okay, finally hit a high. Then it started coming down. Okay, we took this trade not believing in the process. Not believing in what we was taught. And not believing the way the market works. Because I, I can almost guarantee you, okay, I can't say 100%, but we can almost guarantee you about 80 to 90% that whenever the RSI is this high on a higher time frame, H1 or H4, this more than likely is going to come down. And it's going to continue to come down the rest of the week. Like I said, as you can tell on H4, this was the high up here. And then RSI was above the levels. Is that was that 78, 77? And then it finally decides to come down. So the market is, <clears throat> the market is honestly, uh, it moves from the RSI, the Relative Strength Index. That's what it means, y'all. So this is the market makers are letting you know, okay, we're headed down. Sure, you can get in on little quick scalps on a buy on this for the retrace. But whenever you see the RSI that high, then you know this is coming down. And it's more than likely going to come down to about the third to fourth support depending on the currency okay so this would be considered a support zone here okay and then broke that one came down here broke that one or about to break that one and then like it's more than likely going to break this one and then come down to this okay so it might not touch the support exactly but i can like i said i can almost bet you know that these emas are going to cross and it's going to come down to here Okay, so let's go confirm that right quick. Let's go to the daily. So yeah, looking at the daily, it was a big W, but now it looks like it's coming down to the support here. 
before it decides to go back up. Okay, so let's look at GJ right quick. I'm not gonna make this too long. I got GJ right quick. Same thing on a daily. Look like it's finally touching that 50. But if you look to the left over here, see what it did over here, right? It didn't shoot up until it hit this zone here. So for those that got on the buys, including myself, and we got cooked, bro. We got cooked. Because GJ, obviously, yes, it's been going up, you know, but since this M was not finished informing, right? And it looked like it tried to push out the form of W, worked out up here, and shot back down. But this have to come back down to where this was touches up here, okay? The market makers always, 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 or the market always come back down to these, these EMAs, okay? So until we see like a big spread on H4 or H1 even, hold on, on H4, uh, on H4 uh, even, this is going to continue to drop. And like I said, I'm thinking this is going to continue to drop to about right here. Maybe maybe a little bit lower than that before it decides to push up. Because as you guys can tell, RSI is at 34 on GJ right now, on H4. You go look at the H1, it's at 30, okay? But this is kind of lining up pretty nice. I would honestly say, like I said, this is more than likely not going to happen until uh, Sunday. It could happen tomorrow because nobody would be expecting it. Okay, this is Forex, right? But, I mean, that's what I'm thinking on these two. And, guys, like, if you're trading, man, just believe in this stuff, man. Believe in the moving averages. Believe in support and resistance. Believe in the RSI, guys. This stuff works, man. You just got to just gotta be patient and get in on the right entries, okay? So, real quick, before I wrap this up, let's see how, how I'm doing on time. I'm six minutes, okay? So, real quick, before I wrap this up, uh, sniping entries is really what pushes the market, Okay? So if you want to use a sniper entry and want to get in on a sniper entry, come to the higher time frames and look. Okay, you see that? This this right here is at a high, is at a resistance. So if you look to where the RSI was here, it's at 66. So it looked like GJ, it doesn't go up to the 75. I think the highest it probably break is maybe 70. Let's see where it's at. Yeah, 70. So it goes between 70 and maybe about 65 on H4. Okay. And last time that RSI got low like this, as you guys can tell, this pushed up. Obviously, it had to retrace, but then it continued to push up. So looking at this, this is at 23, 24, okay? Somewhere around there, pushed up, came back down to retrace, and then it just shot back up. And it hit right around the 69 area, like I said, between 65 and 70. And then, let's see, I think it continued up for a while. Cause like I said, this is an overall upward trend, and it was respecting the 20 here, okay. But it finally, it finally came up here to the resistance zone and shot back down, okay. And I think it's kind of been shooting down ever since. Like it tried to come back up here, like it, it tried to come back up over here, then it shot back down again. Cause those moving averages, like I said, they're respected, man. They're really respected. So that's just something to look at, y'all. This week was one, it's probably one of the craziest week I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure uh, if you're a mentor or guru, you probably uh, felt this this week too. Like it's just, it just really unpredictable. Um, these weeks do happen in the market, okay? It's just note to self. You know, notice I'm talking to y'all, I'm talking to myself, is you don't need to trade whenever uh, you have weeks like this. Because if you see something crazy like GU did this week, that right there lets you know, like, man, I probably don't need to trade. Or if I am going to trade, I stick to one pair. Because since we all know we got cooked up here, we should have just held that boy. Because we knew that the RSI levels are so respected. But anyways, that's all I got, man. Y'all have a great week. I'm headed to Kansas. And y'all wish me luck. Uh, I will chime in if I can tomorrow. I highly recommend not to trade tomorrow. Tomorrow is definitely going to be a true and real trap Friday. Okay? But other than that, uh, y'all have a blessed day. Peace.